Now, there may be some of you here this morning that aren't sure what Sudoku is. And while I wish I could stand here before you and say that Sudoku, like karate or taekwondo, was a very ancient form of martial art requiring extraordinary levels of physical endurance, strength and courage. But if truth be told, Sudoku is a puzzle. <laughs> and a very non-athletic one at that. <music> to compete for your country at these existing World Sudoku Championships, you need to be selected and have that selection ratified by your country's member of the World Puzzle Federation. A bit more surfing, and I've discovered Australia didn't have a member of the World Puzzle Federation. So I've applied. <laughs> and I've been accepted. <laughs> so all of a sudden, I'm the Andrew Dimitri of Australian Sudoku. <laughs> I'm the sole selector, and it's my job to organise state and national championships and, and then pick the next Australian team and, and send them to the next World Championships. So I've emailed a mate of mine, Sandy Sutherland, who I'd played rugby with at university for many years. I said, Sandy, would you be interested in representing Australia in Sudoku? <laughs> and travelling to India for the World Sudoku Championships. Sandy has emailed me back, I don't know what Sudoku is, <laughs> but I'm sure it's nothing I can't learn on the day, I'm in. <laughs> and it suddenly became crystal clear, for me to achieve my dream of wearing the green and gold and representing Australia, all I had to do was just pick myself and three mates. So that's what I did. <laughs> now, we wanted to make our selection official, so we did actually organise an Australian Sudoku Championships. We held it at our local pub on a Sunday afternoon, and only four of us turned up, so we knew we were a fair chance of making the four-man <laughs> Australian Sudoku team. We had a few rounds of beers and a few bowls of chips, and the time has come to announce the Australian team to tour India. <laughs> And I suddenly became very nervous, and, and I don't know why I became nervous, because I'd picked the team and I'd written my name down on the piece of paper that I was about to read out, but I'd waited 42 years for this moment that I, <laughs> I, I really wouldn't believe it until I actually heard my name called out as a member <laughs> of an Australian team. So I've stood up in the pub and I've opened up the piece of paper and I've gone, the team to represent Australia at the World Sudoku Championships in Goa, India, is I'm just thinking, please pick me, please pick me. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear Mark Skiffington, Sandy Sutherland, Amy Sutherland, I figure there's one spot left, I'll get everything crossed, and Mick Collis. I'm not normally a fist pumper, but <laughs> I gave that the double that day. Look, just from a show of hands, can I see here who's married? It doesn't have to be happily, a few more eyes go up. <laughs> I'm married. Hearing the priest say, I now pronounce you man and wife, is good, but it is nothing compared <laughs> to hearing your name called out as a member of an Australian team for the first time. The next thing we had to do was choose our Australian team uniform. We knew we would never get to play for Australia again, so we wanted to make sure we had enough kit to last us well into the next decade. So we started with the number ones, which was the, um, the blades of the, the grey pants, the white shirt, the Sudoku tie. That would be worn on travel days and to any official functions. <laughs> in India. We had the number twos, which was the, the polo shirt and the walk shorts. The number threes was the t-shirt and the gym short. Number fours was the singlet <laughs> and the board shorts. <laughs> the number fives <laughs> was the green and gold Australian playing kit. We had, uh, <laughs> we had a, <laughs> it's all very serious. <laughs> We had a pair of green and gold Australian thongs. We had two Australian caps with a bottle opener in the peak and a stubby holder. <laughs> so the time has come to depart our fair shores and we're at the airport dressed in our number ones because it was a travel day. <laughs> and if you're anything like me and you see a team walk into an airport, it's very hard not to see who they are, where they're from and, and what they're representing. And it was funny being on the other side of the coin and, and having people sort of crane the necks to try and read the crest. And <laughs> even funny when the penny dropped and they kind of sit back and go, Ooh, Australian Sudoku team. <laughs> Those blokes must be smart. <laughs> we just thought if only they knew. So we get on board the plane and, and we get about an hour out of Singapore on the way to the World Championships and, and I've suddenly broken into a cold sweat and Skiffo's noticed and he said, mate, what's wrong? And I said, mate, I'm on my way to India to represent Australia at the World Sudoku Championships. I'll never forget what he did. He just put his hand on my shoulder and he said, mate, I know and you should be very proud. And I said, I am but I don't know how to play Sudoku. <laughs>